towards the end of 2019, retired Major Habib Mdatilu, 31 co-accused were first arraigned in court after being arrested on DRC territory by Congolese National Forces and brought to Rwanda to be prosecuted for terror-related charges. Among them are 25 led by retired Major Mdatilu Habib, accused of joining an illegal P5 militia group plotting to overthrow the current regime, forming alliances with the foreign government to wage war against Rwanda, creating a militant group and plotting to commit a crime of terrorism. The military prosecution had sought life sentence for the retired Major Habib Mudatiru and his group, accused of plotting acts of terrorism against Rwanda. During the court proceedings, Mudatiru pleaded guilty to three charges out of the total five leveled against him. The charges he pleaded guilty to include joining a criminal group, conspiracy against an established government or the president of the republic, as well as maintaining relations with a foreign government intending to wage a war. He denied charges of terrorism. More than a year after the trial started, the military high court on Thursday convicted retired Major Habib Mudatiru of five counts of joining a criminal group, conspiracy against an established government or the president of the republic, maintaining relations with a foreign government intending to wage a war, forming a criminal group, as well as participating in the acts of terrorism. The court sentenced retired Major Habib Mudatiru to 25 years in prison. Others sentenced to 25 years in prison include Private Muhire Diodone and Private Ruhinda Jean Bosco, who were identified by the court as members of the high command of the P5 armed group. In addition to being convicted of the same offenses as Mudatiru, Private Muhire Diodone was also convicted of working with leaders of terrorist groups, including FDRR, RNC, and RRM, inciting people to join the FLN militia group and desertion, and the court striped Private Muhire of his military rank. Private Ruhinda Jean Bosco, who was the communications officer of P5 militia group, was sentenced in absentia because he has not yet been arrested. Zanzimana Patrick and Captain Rubuana Sraiman were convicted of four of the five charges against them and the court acquitted them of conspiracy with the foreign government intending to wage a war because they were not in the top leadership of P5 militia group, thus reducing their sentences to 20 years in prison. Of the 27 remaining defendants, 18 were sentenced to 15 years in prison, four defendants were given eight years in prison, one was given five years in prison, Another was given four years in prison. Another defendant was sentenced to two years and six months in prison and stripped of his military rank, while one other defendant was given a year and six months in prison, while Captain Kairanga Viator is the only one acquitted and the court ordered for his immediate release. After the court had read the verdict of the case, some of the defendants appealed the court's decision and submitted their case to the military appeals court. However, Retired Major Habib Mudatiru was not among those that immediately appealed the court's decision.